name of God, the Lord of mercy, the giver of mercy. The inevitable hour. What is the inevitable hour? What will explain to you what the inevitable hour is? The people of the mood and odd denied that the crashing blow would come. The mood was destroyed by a deafening blast. Odd was destroyed by a furious wind that God let loose against them for seven consecutive nights, eight consecutive days, so that you could have seen its people lying dead like hollow palm trunks. Can you see any trace of them now? Pharaoh too, and those before him, and the ruined cities. These people committed grave sins and disobeyed the messenger of their Lord, so he seized them with an ever tightening grip. But when the flood rose high, we saved you in the floating ship, making that event a reminder for you. Attentive ears may take heed. When the trumpet is sounded a single time, when the earth and its mountains are raised high and then crushed with a single blow, on that day the great event will come to pass. The sky will be torn apart on that day. It will be so frail. The angels will be on all sides of it. And on that day, eight of them will bear the throne of your Lord above them. On that day, you will be brought to judgment and none of your secrets will remain hidden. Anyone who's given his record in his right hand will say, Here's my record. Read it. I knew I would meet my reckoning. And so he will have a pleasant life in a lofty garden with clustered fruit within his reach. It will be said, Eat and drink to your heart's content as a reward for what you have done in days gone by. But anyone who's given his record in his left hand will say, If only I had never been given any record and knew nothing of my reckoning, how I wish death had been the end of me. My wealth has been no use to me and my power has vanished. Take him, put a collar on him, lead him to burn in the blazing fire and bind him in a chain 70 meters long. He would not believe in Almighty God. He never encouraged feeding the hungry. So today, he has no real friend here. And the only food he has is the filth that only sinners eat. So I swear by what you can see and by what you cannot see, this Quran is the speech of an honored messenger, not the words of a poet, how little you believe, nor the words of a soothsayer, how little you reflect. This Qur'an is a message sent down from the Lord of the worlds. If the Prophet had attributed some fabrication to us, we would have certainly have seized his right hand and cut off his lifeblood, and none of you could have defended him. This Qur'an is a reminder for those who are aware of God. We know that some of you consider it to be lies. This will be a source of bitter regret for the disbelievers, but it is in fact a certain truth. So Prophet, glorify the name of your Lord, the Almighty. Thank mm -hmm. you.